Makeup and today I have a makeup tutorial for you guys. So fall is right around the corner and I'm so excited and I wanted to do a makeup tutorial for you guys that was simple with a bold lip, which you guys voted on my Twitter. So if you guys aren't following me on Twitter, you should go ahead and follow me at Megs Moi, M-E-G-S-M-U-A. And I put up polls all the time about um, what tutorials I want you guys to do. Like what tutorials would you guys want to see? And you guys definitely picked a simple eye and a bold lip. This look is also inspired by my NYX Face Awards makeup that I wore to the finale, to the live finale. Um, I posted this picture um, on my Snapchat and also on Instagram, and you guys went crazy over the look. So I decided to do recreate that look, but with burgundies and fall colors. Um, and this lip... <laughs> see if it'll focus lip is like absolutely amazing. I used the NYX matte, um, the velvet matte lipstick. Oh my gosh, my lips look like unrealistic. I don't know, they look like in those pictures where you see the girls with like the nice lips and you're just like, ah, like that's how I feel. Like I really love this like lipstick, like so much. <laughs> so um, I wanted to do something that had a bold lip and a simple eye. Super, super easy tutorial. Anyone can do this tutorial. Literally anyone can do this tutorial. It is so, so easy. You guys don't even need a lot of products. So I hope you guys continue watching this tutorial and I will see you in a second. <laughs> For my shadows to start out, I'm using my NYX Ultimate Palette. This is the warm one. I'm using the top left shade, which is very similar to I Have a Headache. I wonder if it is I Have a Headache. But anyways, I'm applying this with a shader brush all over my brow bone and lid. So not the actual lid lid, because I just said lid, so I totally just lied. But the crease of your eye and the brow bone to set that. Going with the next color to the right, this is the shimmery shade. And we're going to make this our highlight. And as you can see, I don't know what happened here, but I just wiped that away. It's going to blend into my highlight anyways, right? So I'm using the Mika Booty, Mika Booty? Whoa, girl, I can't talk today. The Mika Beauty Primer. It's just an eyelid primer. Any eyelid primer is going to work, so we're going to use a pigment, so we want that to stick. I'm using the Shimmer Powder. Oh my, I literally can't talk, guys. I'm so sorry. The Shimmer Powder from Mika Beauty in 27. <laughs> it's just kind of like a light rose gold bronze, just your basic wash of color. Just something to give a little bit of shine and not be so matte and flat. You know, you feel me? <laughs> Going back to that palette, just taking any transition color. This palette just happens to have every single color I need in my whole entire life for warm looks for fall. But I'm not making this like a known color. I'm just making this a transition just to blend that rose gold bronze shade out a little bit. I'm totally making up colors today. Going back in that lightest shade, we're going to apply this to the inner third of our eye. I just wanted to lighten that color a little bit more. Even though that was just a wash, I wanted to add a dimension to this wash of color. Next, I'm taking the Full Spectrum Makeup Geek Eyeliner. This is the brown one, and I'm applying this into my waterline. I want our bottom lash line to be super smoky, as you can see in the previous little intro movie I got going on there. I'm applying this in my waterline and into the lash line in between the lashes and just blending it with my finger. Warm through your finger blends it out. Taking that transition color again on a small luxy brush, I'm going to start smoking out the liner. More like making a transition for the other colors, so I'm not necessarily smoking out the liner, I'm just adding a transition base for the rest since we are doing an under eye smoked out wing. Taking this burnt orange shade, which is absolutely gorgeous and it warms up any eye look and it is perfect for any eye color, everyone needs a burnt orange shade in their life. Taking on the same exact brush, it's a perfect small blending brush, perfect front of the eye and for this look. I'm just using this in between the two colors. So we put the liner first, the transition on the bottom slightly touching the liner, this is going smack in between and we're starting to feather it out more and more towards my brow, farther and farther, more dramatic. Small pencil brush, grabbing a burgundy shade or cranberry, whatever one you're gonna go with. <laughs> Taking this pencil brush, we're gonna apply this under our eye. We're trying to get closer to the, um, to the lash line here. And I'm just starting to pull that out. And as you can see, since it's a deeper, rich color, it's gonna start making that line more prominent. And then taking the transition color again, we're gonna blend that all out. Always go back to the transition, gotta blend those out. Mixing the two lightest colors again, the matte and shimmer, just for some brightness and some highlight. Applying this to the inner corner of my eye to open those up. Add some lashes. What lashes do I want? 
I'll let you know in the description because I'm not sure. <laughs> Using my Lorac highlighter in Twilight, I absolutely love it. It's like a bronze, almost reminds me of the Opal by Becca, but it has more of a gold sheen to it. I don't know. Um, I feel like on camera you can't really tell, but I feel like it's like slightly gold. I just feel a little bit golden for my pale self. Highlighting my whole life, basically. Then in the Anastasia palette, I just applauded them. This is Summer from the Glow Kit, the newest Glow Kit. Applying this to the high points and nose, taking bronze from that same new clip. Whoa, kit, kit. And I'm applying this all over the bronze areas, just adding some shimmer to the bronze, lower jawline, bronzy, bronzy, everywhere. Then I'm using this blush that I can't pronounce the name, but it's from Sigma and it's amazing, and I use it on all of my clients. I have another one to use on them. Using the new NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner. Ugh, these are amazing in Alabama. This perfect, like, deep red. Mm. So I'm just lining my lips, a basic lining, not really filling them in. So I outlined my lips, and then once I grabbed the lipstick, which is absolutely amazing, but I realized that I needed to outline the sides more, like fill them in slightly. So I'm taking the matte velvet, or the velvet matte lipstick by NYX and Volcano. As you can see, I was like, oh man, this isn't too pigmented. Went over it a few times, and my lips literally look like literal velvet, like literal velvet. I guess it's like, kind of hence the name. But as you can see here, I'm just filling in the sides with the liner, going back over, and it gave me that velvet matte, very sexy, perfect lips. Alright guys, that was it for my tutorial. Thank you so, so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please comment down below any fall tutorials or anything coming up or homecoming, whatever um, tutorials you guys want to see. Um, I will be doing more fashion looks books and more of my movie-ish type tutorials if you guys feel me. So if you guys um, have any looks that you want me to recreate, any hairstyles too, I want to start doing more hairstyles for you guys on other people so you guys can see how to break down different hairstyles. So there's a picture that you're like, oh, I love it, but I don't know where to start. I can totally break that down for you. So go ahead and comment down below. Any suggestions you have, follow me on my social media. You guys can always send me pictures or tag me and things. I love seeing what you guys want me to recreate and seeing um, what you guys are loving right now. So go ahead and follow me on my social media so I can keep up with you guys. If you guys ever want to reach out to me, go ahead, feel free. Um, I love talking to you guys and I love helping you guys out. For those of you who are thinking about starting YouTube or have some questions about YouTube, um, go ahead and just feel free to message me. I totally will answer you. I love talking to you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you in my next video. Bye, babes. Mwah.